the smallest bolt to the largest chassis, Wheel Coach Industries of Winter Park, Florida is managing it. The world's largest manufacturer of ambulances can custom build an unlimited number of configurations in 19 days. Since a single vehicle uses close to 3,000 different raw materials from inventory, how do they know which raw materials are needed? In what quantities? The answer? Materials Requirements Planning. Materials Requirements Planning, or MRP, helps managers control inventory needs where demand for raw materials is dependent on the finished goods to be produced. Once a vehicle is configured, the MRP system tells all the components that are dependent on that design. As this illustration shows, the inputs to an MRP system consist of the master production schedule, product bill of materials, component lead times, existing inventory data, and outstanding purchase orders. The MRP software then produces outputs such as materials needed by time period and by date, planned order reports, and purchase orders. Wheeled Coach installed its MRP system in 1994 at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The software, called Mapix, runs on an IBM AS400 computer. Bob Collins, president, was instrumental in the system's installation. An MRP system is crucial in Wheel Coach gaining control of its inventory. Having a system that helped us with our purchasing, it also helped establish uh, a method to taking our in-hand balances and paying that to a specific work order. By doing so, it enhanced our inventory controls, it reduced our inventory levels dramatically. Wheel Coach used the current systems that we have now in JIT and cycle counts. Those, uh, those haven't changed since we implemented MRP. But prior to MRP, we were using historical information to be able to develop a, a model for what our future purchases should be. It took all the information uh, and, and broke it down to what each item, what those past requirements had been. Obviously, with that type of system, there are faults. You're looking behind what you, where you are currently and trying to determine where you're going in the future. With those type of systems, you're going to make mistakes. We did the best we could but our inventory levels were extremely high. We had instances where we didn't have the part when we needed it. Uh, it just, those type systems just do not deal with change as well as they should. In an environment that we're in right now, uh, emergency vehicles, the custom being custom manufacturer, change is the name of the game. We needed a system that was far more flexible than that system offered us. Let's take a closer look at the MRP process for one of Wheeled Coach's products, the Modivan. The first part of the process is, is when we quote the product to the customer. Being a custom manufacturer, obviously when we quote that customer, a bill of material needs to be created if we're going to cost it accurately. The bill of material, for instance, for our Modivan product is the building block that really drives MRP. Each vehicle that's in our schedule contains a separate specific bill of material for that product. When an order is submitted into the system through our order entry, it becomes live in the system and begins to drive requirements. We, we produce a report on a daily basis for our purchasing department that they review that determines what they need to do to support manufacturing. Uh, it gives them a lot of information which they use to not only purchase, but also be able to determine whether their on-hand balances uh, are adequate or not. Once a customer has specified the features of a Modivan, the MRP system gives managers feedback that helps in ordering and using just the right inventory items. The system is driven by Wheeled Coach's master schedule, a detailed plan that shows production commitments for the next two weeks. We've maintained a two-week frozen period. We feel the two-week frozen period is adequate to go out and buy material from outside vendors support our manufacturing process for that time span. It doesn't mean that we don't have schedule that goes out beyond the two weeks. We just choose to freeze that time span to make sure that it's, it's structured and cannot be changed without proper approvals. That way it doesn't interfere with our planning process. Once we plan for that time span, we know that it's cast in stone. Uh, we use schedules that go way out beyond the two weeks that we use to drive material requirements on some of the longer lead time items. There are certain items in our inventory that fall outside the MRP system, primarily because of lead times. 
MRP only allows us about a three to four week planning time frame. We find things like chassis, aluminum, plywoods. Because they're long lead times, we need to deal with it in a different manner. For example, aluminum requires a six to eight month planning period. Because of that, we need to deal with that in a, in a, in a different manner. Chassis is another example. Uh, we're dealing with a 90 to 120 day planning period there. So we find we need to deal with those separately and we develop plans and programs to deal specifically with those items. On occasion, an error in the bill of materials will surface during production. When identified, a team of wheeled coach managers is called in to review an engineering change request. Participation by managers from different functional areas is key since changes may affect more than production. If the team approves the change, an engineering change notice, or ECN, is signed. The ECN must be processed by the MRP system before the change is made and the required part is released to the assembly line. Employees also develop ways to improve a part or product. These two must go through the ECN review process. Materials requirements planning is the preferred way to schedule production and purchases when demand is dependent. Can you imagine the confusion Wheeled Coach's assembly process would experience without it? Now that would be an emergency. MRP has made tremendous strides in our ability to keep our inventories at a manageable level. Our turns, our inventory turns on an annual basis have been enhanced greatly by giving us that control. By the systems that we used to have, uh, we were creating obsolete inventory and then obviously then having to deal with that obsolete inventory. Our inventory now is all live and active uh, and has given us controls we never had before.